hi friends welcome to a new video and in this video we will uh, see how to unlock the pq9000 chipset uh, with the dj battery killer software plus additionally we need the linux uh, environment here because we cannot just simply enter into the pq9000 boot mode with some commands uh, already i saw some more videos about the pq9000 just they are just simply entering some commands just like the pq3 is a double five but unfortunately the chip i have is working differently so here you can see the chipset this is the bq9000 chipset and this board i actually with me uh, more than one year i tried many methods but nothing worked then finally i am able to get into the boot mode and i read the rom and change some values but there is no fuse the fuse is dead the mosfets are working properly there is the thermal uh, the thermistor there and you can see this is a actually a, what to say a four series battery single cell four series battery here you can see so let me connect the batteries and we will jump into the boot mode so this is the bq9000 i hope you can see this so you can see the values from the dj battery killer software we just cannot click the unseal here and it will show some error and if you choose the bq9003 it will show the same error could not unseal because uh, the bq9000 uh, with me is not working just like the others uh, showing in the showing in the internet because uh, i read in the texas instruments forum that the bq9000 is just like the bq40 is at 50 or 55 or 60 or something like that it will respond normally and i checked in the the ti software also and it is showing that uh, there is 8 kb of rom file and it will just like the bq9000 work just like normal chips but unfortunately the bq9000 is not working like that it is acted like the bq8030 or bq8050 then i got the point that it is sometimes it will detect as the bq8055 so here you can see it will not accept then i uh, try to write the word to the if, if you if you read the word in the 73 you can see nothing and if you write the 74 nothing so if i write the 0214 to the 71 you can see there is some values just forming uh, it's a in a in a time window it is creating the hex values just like the bq8050 and in the 74 it's all the same so uh, from this point i understand that the chip will just act like the pq8050 so with that method which i used in the pq8050 we can get into the boot mode okay now i'm just disconnecting the cp2112 and getting the linux environment i am disconnecting the cp2112 and connecting it again it will ask connect to the virtual machine okay now i'm going to call the terminal i want to write mod pro i2c then gpi or detect and read okay it is reading the values showing the battery values also okay now i'm going to the root okay there is my bq9000 file here the bq8050 file is also there so these are the backups that i get it from the ft51 f51 chipset and uh, let's try this now and uh, in the la in the previous time when i used to this the chip is unlocked within one second but uh, it will take some time otherwise uh, this will not work every time we cannot just enter the boot mode fastly there are some combinations and it will take roughly two hours to to run the total codes okay now opening the uh, terminal i already opened it as a root open the terminal and i am reading the values okay it is hacking up to 91 we can see 71 is writable 90 is writable and what about the values sps report still working now i am running the command let's me zoom it up 
okay i am running the bash here bash bq 9000 dot sh enter now you can see uh, they are running the values here so i cannot just simply enter to the boot mode it will take some time to read so after several attempts i am able to get into the boot mode by 18 minutes it takes took 18 minutes i am in the boot mode now i am uh, disconnecting the cp2112 from my pc and reconnecting so connecting the host okay now opening the dj battery killer click on the connect read info now you can see some garbage values this means the chip is in the boot mode now click on the firmware and i have already done some backup but i am changing this read eprom so it will start to read the eprom file so for the bq9000 it will be 8 kb of file you need to read and read the firmware so i am opening my hex editor hxt here and uh, dumping the values okay here we can see the sineo and uh, our descent capacity which is 2851 and this is our charging current i think and i don't know if it is correct okay now uh, this is our descent voltage 14.4 uh, volt and this is descent capacity to 851 so if you scroll down uh, there are i think five sections we need to change here on the 9000 offset we can see the offset 9, 9000 you can see the cycle count as 2023 and this is the full charge capacity which is zero here uh, and uh, again this is the to the a a zero zero offset which is again the cycle count is showing and the full charge capacity is zero uh, there is also another uh, flag we need to change the a68 a68 is 80 here uh, this is a lock flag we need to change to zero so from the 900 i am changing the cycle count to zero 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 okay now we need to enter the full charge capacity uh, for my case it is 2850 uh, so i am giving the value as uh, 2500 so for the 2500 2500 so the 2500 is 9c4 in the hex 09c4 but this will not give you the 2500 you need to do one more calculation so if you need 2500 we need to divide it by 1.166 which is 2144 so this will be our uh, full charge capacity value to be ended so 2144 getting the programmer 2144 which is 860 0860 so here i am giving the value as 0860 but this is in little in added so we should give the value as 6008 so now check the value is 2144 so this will only give the value as uh, 2500 milliampere so there is uh, a factor of 1.166 and now change the values on the a00 offset 0000 also 60 g08 okay completed now going to the a68 change to 00 okay so we change the values and now we will save this the uh, hxt will take a backup here we don't need to take it back manually so i'm closing this and i'm writing here you can see the backup i'm writing the value uh, back to the chip okay it is completed now go to the commands send to the 08 send command now read info okay now what we have 
the full charge capacity is 2500 nearly 2500 uh, the charging around is 613 milliampere i don't know why it is showing as this uh, i think uh, if you read the value again this will go because there is no fuse with the board so we cannot trust this values charging voltage is correct the design capacity is correct design voltage is correct so the chip will work if we connect a proper fuse and we have successfully changed the full charge capacity and the cycle count to zero so the the previous value uh, let me check if there's any previous value okay here you can see the cycle count was 2023 and uh, full charge capacity is zero milliampere okay now we have changed the values now we can uh, connect a fuse and reset the chip again and it will start again working again so this is the uh, way to enter into the bq9000 boot mode and change the values the cycle count full charge capacity and some other flags the lock flag uh, also uh, we can use the for this same for the bq8050 because these are two are identical chip there is only a uh, difference in the functions so that's it uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section also you can use my instagram facebook telegram discord anything anywhere you can contact me if i am available i will reply you so thanks for watching this video we will come again with my raspberry pi zero video thank you